Hey guys. I was looking at the posts from Inglis and he suggested that we reverse the polarity of each of the rotor magnets. So that's what I did. I flipped them over and uh, see if we can get this thing to focus a little bit better here. I don't think we're going to get a good focus out of it. So anyways, we reversed the polarity of each of the rotor magnets and each of the stator magnets. We flipped them 180 degrees looking for uh, mechanical advantages in the system rather than magnetic because if we reverse everything magnetically then uh, the the solution should reverse magnetically as well. So we've adjusted each each of the adjustments are identical now whereas before they were not. Uh, let's see if I can show you the grid on those. Let's see, will it focus? Mayhaps not. Come on from the side maybe. Don't know if you can see the gradient lines. It's really blurry at this. Let's try it this way. Zoom in. No. Well, at any rate, there's there's a gradient line provided by MadProf, and that gradient line is aligned what we would call minus one for every one of the stators you can see you can see the line on the slide and the gradient line it's one t one in for each one so that's what we would call a minus a minus one okay so again I have checked each one of the rotor magnets I found that in this configuration we we get uh, this effect that when we push, give you a full view here, when we push this bar and wait for it to leave, like that, we get a full 360, but it does hit the wall there, okay? And again, that is repeatable so far 100% of the time. Okay. Three out of three. As you can see, just to show you, this is a valley and this is the valley and this is the top of the hill okay so these are in in uh, traction right here side by side attraction so that one pole is here in this case this would be the south pole and the other pole here would be north on the stator and just the inverse would be true on the rotor so they are in attraction uh, sideways okay or parallel. So one more time here. I'd love to hear your input on this as far as how to do this to remove the human element. There we go. And around it goes. Alright. So what do we get if we go the other way? We'll do the, We'll try this two two ways. First of all, I'll just push up here on the end of this bar. I found that that's a little uncomfortable, but we'll we'll try it that way first. Yeah, just doesn't want to go. And then what we'll do is we'll flip it over. It's just magnetically stuck on there. 
we'll push on the back side of the bar the way we were in the other direction. You can compare this with the other video and you can see that by inverting the fields we have inverted the direction of rotation so there is no mechanical advantage in the apparatus. The advantage is magnetic. And uh, if you like we can try that with each one of these. The problem I've had pushing it from here is that it'll hit my finger and slow down. That's why I put that, that bar on it. Yeah, it hit my finger. So that wasn't a very good test. Look at this. Well, actually, I can push from here even though it's on that magnet for starting point. One of them will go about four spaces. That's only one. So we'll stop it on the, on the ridge there. Now we're two magnets behind the start point. Oh, huh, that was weird. I just felt a kick. I don't know what caused the kick, but I, I felt a kick. It pushed against my hand. Could have been an EM pulse or something around here. That's kind of strange. I don't know if it picked that up on the video or not. Uh, we got almost two out of that one. So we'll stop it on the hill here. So we're three behind now. And we'll see if we can push it. Yeah. Try a little ambidextrous action here. Yeah, just one. Okay, now we're on the other side of it, 180 across. Let's see what we get. And just one. Okay. Just one. The next one. Just one. Switching hands here. And the seventh one, oops, <laughs> that one's like red on the edge, huh? No, just one. So in, in the clockwise direction, they all go just one. Okay, so now let's go in the counterclockwise direction. How much time do I got? Uh, out of time. I'll do another video for that.